So Dietrich put me here in the spotlight uh, to talk about ProBlab, which is another way of saying data-driven protocol design and optimization. So this is what we do. We're collecting and analyzing protocol data that make up all the components of IPFS, of the IPFS network. Because you know, things sometimes might work, but not, <laughs> not in ways that you want them to or expect them to. <laughs> so you've got to go and dig into the details to see how things work. And that's what we do at, uh, at ProBlab. If you navigate to problab.io, you'll find this new web page and a collection of plots out of the tools that we have put together in order to dig into the details and see how the, act the protocols actually perform. For example, you're going to see um, DHT lookup measurements uh, from several different regions of the world. What is unique about what we're doing is that it's not just a collection of plots, uh, it's got context as well. So we're including um, details about what the experiments look like, what did we do, why did we do it this way, as well as links to um, normally GitHub repositories where the tools that we have used leave. So you get a whole view of what we've done to see if it's convenient for your purposes. What we're also doing is that we're producing weekly reports, which you might have seen around. And these are kind of snapshots of the performance and health of the network on a weekly basis. So more kind of short term and bounded. As part of that, for example, we're um, monitoring a bunch of websites, the time to first byte from, again, from several different regions. Um, your website might be there, so go check it if, uh, how it performs. And we, um, we compare the time to first byte from several different regions through Kubo and through HTTP, right, just to see where we are. This week, for example, you'll see that more often than not, um, content through IPFS, through Kubo, is loading faster than HTTP. Um, which is great. It could be, you know, content addressing and universal caching that uh, make up all the magic. So go check it out. See if your website is there. If it's not and you want it to be, just uh, come talk to us and we can probably add it. Now, um, we know that uh, IPFS as a system is composed of many content routing subsystems. And we know that we are uh, focusing on a few of them right now, um, primarily the IPFS public DHT, uh, but also we're looking into BitSwap, Hydras, and so on. Now, as we go on, we want to expand to other content routing systems, either on our own or with your help. So if you're, um, if you're building a protocol, if you have a protocol or a content routing subsystem, and have measurement and monitoring tools come talk to us uh, and we can work together to, um, yeah, to, to showcase um, how brilliant is what you're doing. So where to find all these numbers? Right now we have two places. Uh, you'll have two places to monitor. One is stats.ipfs.network, which points to the weekly reports. Uh, which is, as I said, a snapshot, a summary of the uh, health and performance of the network. And then it's problab.io, which is what I introduced uh, before that, which is more detailed, you know, nitty gritty stuff about protocols, their parameters, you know, how does the uh, performance evolve if you change some of them. So it goes into much uh, greater depth. Now, soon, what we're going to do is that we're going to bundle everything under stats.ipfs.network so that you can navigate from there to different, uh, to different places. Uh, yeah, that's it. We're having a measuring IPFS track uh, after this session here in a room near you. Uh, so figure it out. Come uh, with your questions and come to find out more of what we're doing. Uh, thank you. And with this, I'll put in the spotlight Will Scott, I think. Thank you.